Hello, welcome to Handsome Griffin's Occasional Series in Video Processing. Tutorials today we'll be looking at uh, MATLAB as per usual. We'll be looking at exhaustive block marching algorithm, both integer pair and half pair. So we have the table of contents there on the left, I think that's all right. And the student can read them at his or her time. Uh, we tidy up the display there as usual and we read in the variables there in number one, the foreman. So we're reading in frame 69 and frame 72 we to find the block size and the range search, etc. In number two, we've read in the two frames. Number three, using the supplied function, EBMA, uh, exhaustive block matching. Uh, so we have the two frames within the block size, the range, and the accuracy level. And we get the motion vectors, etc. And the uh, time to completion is 2.1 seconds. Uh, we There's the anchor frame, there's the target frame. Uh, so we have uh, the motion vectors using the exhaust block marching algorithm. They're there using the quiver command. And as I would say in class, the arrows are vectors that has a direction and magnitude. So the direction is obvious enough, and obviously the longer the arrow, the bigger the magnitude. And we can see there that very little has changed in the background of the building, and uh, most of the uh, quiver commands you know that we see are in the face where your man is, uh, the foreman that is, is moving his head reasonably rapidly. Uh, there's the predicted frame. And then if we say the predicted frame minus the, the other one, the actual one, uh, or the other way around, would we said I am abs different, so it makes no difference. So where there's black, there's no uh, change, and where there's white, there is change. Because if we're subtracting like from like, we get, the uh, we, or we get zero, which is black, and the greater the difference, the whiter it is. We get the peak signal to noise ratio, which is 27.49. We then run the same command again with half pel EBMA. And we see it's eight seconds, so it's nearly four times. Uh, the execution time, uh, just there again, we'd expect the execution time to be much higher for the uh, half pel because of the greater uh, number of computational steps. So there's the half pel, and there's the predicted frame using the half pel, and then I'm going to leave it up to the student to uh, calculate the PSNR and comment. Thank you very much.